All right, so I went ahead and cleaned up the transmission here a little bit with brake cleaner and some rags. And we're gonna go ahead and remove the fill plug and then the drain plug. I'm gonna drain this fluid and it's, uh, you know, replace it with fresh fluid. Yeah, already loosened both fill and drain plugs. I'm gonna go ahead and drain this thing. And it is actually gear oil in this one, believe it or not. All right guys, so Transmission is done draining and I have the drain plug here all cleaned up washer is on it And I'm gonna go ahead and install that back and we're gonna refill this amazing Four-speed manual transmission rare thing on these W115s with gear oil German tight. All right, time to refill her. That's it, fluid is leaking out. That means we are full. So when dealing with the fill plug, I actually have to, there's not enough space to put the ratchet in there, so you have to use a, a 14 millimeter wrench together with uh, this Allen bit. So these rear doors are stuck shut. Uh, I can't open them from the inside or the outside, so start removing everything. Start removing this seat bottom i'm gonna lift this up because i'm almost ready to remove this door panel i just have to get to that mechanism right there but i have to remove this uh back seat first so this is what happens when you, you don't lubricate your door latches and door locks and all that stuff so and that's what happens so make sure you take care of that now i have to climb in there and lift up that uh, seat back and uh you know i'll keep on working on it so on W115s, you have to get through the trunk to remove two nuts on the back side of the seat as well. And then now I remove this top portion of the door panel. And now I can finally get to that lock right there. It's a pain. I already sprayed a bunch of PB Blaster in there and letting it soak. But I'll have to slide a screwdriver down in there and press on the mechanism to open the door. Yeah, this thing is really seized up. All right, guys, so here I am starting to polish this amazing machine, just doing everything by hand using this Meguiar's compound. And uh, literally what I'm doing is I'm using this uh, sponge right here, just a pad, polishing pad. So it's coming out really, really nice, guys, as you can see. It's amazing. It's a huge difference, really. And I didn't put so much work into it. So I'm super happy about that. It looks awesome. I'm gonna keep on doing that. In the meantime, uh, well, yesterday was trying, literally all day I was here uh, messing with this uh, door, trying to open it, and I was not able to open this door. And I had to kinda loosen up this door panel a little bit. It's a little bit broken down there, but that's okay. I'll be able to glue it back together. It's like a cardboard, basically cardboard panel so once i take the panel off and once i open the door i will be able to glue everything back nicely and it's gonna look awesome so i'm not worried about that main thing is i'm still troubleshooting this lock and i tried to do a lot of things but still i wasn't the, uh, i wasn't successful in doing that so that sucks but i'm gonna keep on working on it and also like i said my biggest thing is i want to polish this car up uh, i want to get this thing done and make it look nice all right guys check out these two doors and how nice they came out wow uh, and also 
just so you remember uh, try to do this if you're gonna do this try to do this in a shaded area so that's why i'm doing this side because there's no sun on this side of the car so i'm doing this side right now and as far as the roof i'll have to finish it uh when it gets either dark or whatever but check out the difference guys how nice it is that's awesome just required a little bit of love and look at these amazing results it's crazy wow so now that i rinsed this quarter panel i'm gonna just quickly wipe it off with clean towel make sure there's no garbage or anything on it accumulate it just gonna wipe it off make it awesome right over here look at that cool now i'm gonna wait for it to dry up and uh, i can start applying the polish so now we're literally we're gonna go ahead and start doing just you don't have to do the whole fender at a time just do sections of it and i'll show you how it's gonna look it's amazing it's gonna be an amazing result and it doesn't take too much work let it sit and then we're gonna wipe it off with a clean dry either microfiber towel or just some kind of like towel amazing difference check this out it's amazing results wow how beautiful she is so beautiful Check this out. Just shampooed the carpet. And now we're gonna clean it, rinse it off. Look at that, so nice. So much dirt just coming out. All right, I'll be replacing these um, pedals. Pads. They're pretty bad, pretty worn out, so I have brand new ones, original Mercedes Benz. So I just simply just grab this like that. Looks like somebody glued it. Why not just replace it and install a new one, huh? Damn people. Clean this up a little bit. Same with this one. I'm just gonna pull it up. see right there original genuine mercedes they look a little bit different but they're basically the same size so they're gonna work no problem all right so 
here's how the new one looks so what i did is i put some silicone paste around here because the only thing you have to use with the rubber is the silicone paste and then you just slowly work your way around i used i carefully used this little screwdriver to kind of help me guide this and i went all the way around and we have to make sure you have to make sure that the rubber like like these parts that go all the way around this pedal pad are hugging the metal part of the pedal okay so you just kind of make sure with your finger right here that it's all all the way around and it's hugging the metal that it's not pinched perfect now I'll finish installing this guy okay both uh, clutch and brake pedal pads are replaced next I'm gonna serve is this uh, right here this accelerator pedal I'm gonna take it out lubricated from it and these are the old ones once again the pads yeah and I have a cover a rubber cover for this uh, parking brake lever a little bit of silicone paste right here especially on the edges okay and then now I have this good used pad for the parking brake and yeah, we're gonna install it that is it she's installed amazing it looks perfect now all right guys we'll be changing these shifter linkage bushings these big ones that are located at the transmission and these ones located closer to the shifter so here they are they're actually there but i already have new ones and i'm just gonna replace them so okay so we're gonna replace these guys and as you can see my shifter is so bad see the display it's horrible those bushings are still there but i'm also changing those all right so i installed three new bushings right here i just had to peel out the old ones the old ones were actually original mercedes brand so i'm pretty sure nobody has installed that on this car and they were probably original from the factory yeah other than that um everything is good here and uh, all of them are replaced so that is really nice so these were these three were original you can see the star on them so i just decided to replace all of them same thing with these little ones they're at the shifter uh they are original so i'm gonna install new ones i'll install the new one on this one right here and when i'm installing these i'm using silicone paste as well i'm gonna on the inside on the, on the outside of these bushings that way they will be moving nicely and silicone paste will preserve them all right new one going in a little bit of silicone paste and then you just kind of carefully work it inside of it that easy okay so all the rods all three bushings on the rods are replaced the same with the ones at the shifter i can start installing everything back i'm gonna put some silicone paste right here too that way it's gonna be moving really easily without any issues so don't forget to do that and i really really wish that um the bushings on the automatic transmission shifter uh were so easy to replace as these ones these are really like a piece of cake 